Three Milwaukee park and rides have become homeless camps. The state originally gave an ultimatum to get out. Jason Calvey talks to people living there, and he asks, what's being done to help? In between the train tracks and the highway is home for the homeless. I am not worried about it because I'm, I'm trusting God. Tamika Brown is one of a lot living at this parking lot, the Holt Avenue Park and Ride. Jeffrey Parker stays here in his van with his dog, Otto. A lot of people help each other. Some of it's just sheer necessity. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation gave an ultimatum in this letter. Get out by May 16th or they could be towed. The letter said the encampment broke the law. As they should, this belongs to the state. This don't belong to the people. But at the same time, if we don't have nowhere to go, what do we do? Milwaukee County Housing Navigator Steve Hill has some answers. Help with security deposits, first month's rent, close for a job interview. No one chooses to live their life in a car, in a parking lot. Uh, it's not a life goal for people. There's lots of different stories around why someone gets to a stage like this. There used to be even more people living here at the Holt Avenue Park and Ride. The state of Wisconsin Department of Transportation says Milwaukee County has already helped 45 people find housing. DOT now says the next Thursday deadline is on hold. It's giving more time for the county to help the people here find a home. There is help available for them. You know, and that we are doing what we can, including for Miss Brown. Forever grateful. I've never had Section 8 before. As next week, she's moving out of the camp and into a home. Jason Calvey, Fox 6 News.